became interested in working uh, with disease patients when I was quite young actually. I was about 11 um, and I remember sitting with my parents and uh, them telling me that there's this documentary on television. I said, would I be interested in watching it? And this was actually um, one of the, uh, it's the first live post-mortem that was televised back in 2002. Now, I remember watching it and I remember it finishing and I said to my mum, I said, that's what I want to do. My job, it starts off in the post-mortem room and uh, we are here in the mornings um, facilitating post-mortems for patients who require them to find a cause of death. So our role very much here is to do with helping and assisting the pathologist in finding out a cause of death for that patient. We will be booking patients in from people that have passed away in hospital or people that have passed away in the community. We will book them into our department, we'll make sure that they look peaceful and that they are moisturised, their hair is neat and that all the information is correct and everything is documented in regards to property. So once we've done all that, we will speak to families, whoever wants to come and see their loved one. We're always more than happy to facilitate um, any viewings that they want to come and see their loved one. We want to make sure that no one is here unnecessarily longer than they have to be. So we make sure it is a smooth running process, the department for each patient, and every patient is looked at personally and made sure that they are cared for in the best way that we can. And we want to make sure that everyone gets that care and there are no exceptional circumstances. Everyone gets treated the same. I couldn't recommend this job enough purely because you don't have to have a degree. You don't have to have all these different qualifications to get into it. I mean, a lot of it is really to do with your passion, your drive and your enthusiasm to actually make a difference.